if you love life, don't waste time. Time is what life is made of. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, we learn about the most important life lessons that many learn too late. Enjoy. And hopefully we all have plenty of years ahead of us. So why not learn from those who have walked the road before us, the ones who faced life and are still alive to tell the stories? How amazing would it be to leverage their knowledge at this point in your life? If you know what they regret the most, the lessons it took decades to learn, maybe, just maybe, you can play it smart and make better choices as of today. And that's how this video came to be. We are looking at the 15 lessons most people usually learn too late in life. Number one, everything is temporary. We even said it in our intro. We think we still have plenty of years ahead of us. Depending on your age, you're not even thinking that far ahead. But even you yourself are temporary. Coping with the idea that everything you do, every person you meet, everything you build is temporary can be a reality shattering experience. The family dog is temporary. Your relationships are temporary. The items you buy are temporary. Nothing really lasts. It's one of those things you can only fully grasp when you've already seen it happen in your past. We all want to live forever. We all want to be eternal. But everything you do, at some point, will be gone and people will have forgotten it. So might as well go for it, right? At some point, whatever the result, it'll be gone and forgotten. Number two, life isn't fair. Yeah, if you were expecting something else, sorry to disappoint you with the truth. The promotion will probably go to someone who's been smooth talking the boss, despite the fact that you're more qualified and work harder. That girl you like might like the douchebag more, despite you thinking that you'd be the perfect fit for her. You're experiencing life through your own eyes, so you're going to be biased no matter what. We do not live in a perfect world, and even if you did, it wouldn't care much for you as an individual. There's like 8 billion of us. The world doesn't owe you anything. Just because you think you deserve something doesn't mean you're going to get it. Number 3. Family matters more than friends. Remember the first item on this list? You can't choose your family, but nobody will be willing to go further for you than they are. Friends are amazing. Have as many real friends as you can get, but family is something special, something most people seem to neglect these days. While friends will be alongside you in the trenches, none of them would really risk themselves for you. Family is the only one who'd be really willing to put you above them. Don't take that for granted. Talk to your parents while you still have them. Talk to your siblings and do not let that relationship cool down. And of course, spend time with your kids because they need you more than they need anything else. Number four, others treat you the way you treat yourself, not them. It's weird when you realize that someone else's attitude towards you depends on yourself and not the other person. The way you present yourself, what you think of yourself, who you are as an individual, these are all in your control. You can choose to grow, to learn, to improve, you, as an individual, are the sum of your experiences and beliefs. Once you fully accept a different set, the entire perception of the world around you will change. Think of this small experiment. If you were to move to a new city where nobody ever knew you, wore different clothes, listened to different music, started speaking differently, and changed your interests, the people you'll meet there will accept your new version because this is the reality they encountered first. Have more respect for yourself, even demand it. Stand up for what you believe in and don't let others walk all over you. It's these small things that will haunt you when you're older. Number five, the sacrifices you make today will pay dividends in the future. Many of those who are in the last quarter of their lives look back at the poor choices they've made, especially the time they wasted. It's always easier to see where you could have done better when you look back to the past. 
Many of them agree that with just a bit more strategy in play, they could have been in a way better position than they find themselves in right now. They all regret not reading more early on, and none of them remember any time wasted watching TV. If they were smarter with their time, they wouldn't have sacrificed as much as they had. Number 6. Sacrificing your health for success or wealth isn't worth it. It's weird seeing this one after the previous point, but it's definitely true. We have a tendency to always want more, and very few people know when to stop. Money is the most important thing in the world when you don't have it. Once you get it, it doesn't matter that much anymore. Nobody wants to sacrifice their own health in pursuit of money or success, but very few are willing to make the adjustments necessary in order to protect yourself over the potential gain. With old age, you'll look back and think of yourself as a fool for not paying more attention to the one thing which could give you more time with those you love. Number 7. Fear of embarrassment or criticism stopped you from being who you really are. You get one shot at this life, so might as well go for it. The main reason most people fail at anything in life is because they don't give it a go. We all find excuses to try to shield our perceived image from what other people think of us, but in the end, they don't matter. It's a choice you have to make for yourself. Who do you want to be? Will you be yourself, or will you be someone who other people are expecting you to be? Number 8. Things don't matter that much. When you are young, you want things because you see other people having things, and you think your life would be better if you had them as well. Things are just things. They don't make you who you are. Possessions are raw materials moved from one place to another. Do you think 10 years from now, you'll care that, at the moment, you have the latest iPhone? We want things because we are being sold on wanting them. Look around you right now. How many things do you have around you, which you don't really need? You need tools, not things. And nobody needs more than a couple essential tools to get the job done. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.